What does a good conversation about gender equity look like, not just to people who support it already? Good afternoon and welcome to the first event of our third annual Gender Equity Week. It's my enormous pleasure to introduce our friend and colleague, Catherine Lumby. In 2017, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's defence of a rare move to silence Senator Elizabeth Warren on the floor of the US Senate launched a thousand tweets. Senator Warren was giving a lengthy speech. He said, she appeared to violate the rule. She was warned. She was given an explanation. Nevertheless, she persisted. An off the cuff phrase meant to end a debate was instead turned into a badge of honor by the other side. Hashtag she persisted, hashtag let Liz speak, hashtag silencing Elizabeth Warren were among Twitter's top trending topics in the US the next day. So what does it mean to persist when it comes to ensuring we have gender equality in an age of great uncertainty? And what should I tweet or write? What works? And that's the question that really interests me. What is the mode of engagement that allows us to speak beyond our own echo chambers? And I want us to all think collectively about that today. And goodness knows we need the collective back. The collective I like is the one where we agree to disagree and invite men and people who are trans and gender fluid to be on the journey that we're all on to see gender equality achieved. I believe that achieving more equality for women also expands opportunities for men to be whole people and not to be pigeonholed themselves. To me, any conversation's got to start with listening. And I think seeking to understand where people are coming from and starting by listening to what animates men's concerns without caving into them, but having a sort of civil and a civilised dialogue and thinking about rhetoric is really important. Would you say that social media has been a tool for good in equity? On balance, I think it's been a terrific tool. Women were telling their stories in single file. What Hashtag Me Too did was give a collective voice and it's been enormously effective in raising awareness about sexual harassment and resulting in prosecutions indeed. So on the whole, I think it's a very positive thing. And the more people in the conversation, the better. <laughs>